Can you talk about your bill and how it would change our current law? What it would do is change it from a civil violation to, as you said, a, a criminal offense, and you could be uh, fined up to $500. Right now, 300 is the max, and jailed for up to 30 days. If someone didn't reoffend after that first offense, that first conviction, after five years, the conviction would revert to a civil forfeiture. Uh, my concern is that we need to send a stronger message through education that Wisconsin does not tolerate drunk driving. If you are drunk, you don't get behind the wheel of a vehicle, and there needs to be a mechanism to do that. This weekend, we just experienced a 14th offense drunk driver. If you're looking at that, uh, that number of arrests in, in 2014, uh, that comes out to 81 arrests a day in Wisconsin. Good point. Let's be conservative and say it's 70 times before a person is arrested. That comes out to more than 5,000 drunk drivers a day on Wisconsin roads, seven days a week. Seven to eight injuries per day in drunk driving crashes, 365 days a year. The fact that um, we, we had a 31% drop in drunk driving fatalities in the last five years uh, is a significant testament to the work that's, that's being out, done out there. Now, 162 fatalities in 2014 was still too far too high. The technology's out there today to eliminate drunk drivers. Right. It, is. it is possible today. Mm -hmm. if, mo if motor vehicle manufacturers would put uh, a alcohol sensor into that vehicle that prevented it from starting yes. with the presence of alcohol, there would be no drunk drivers, period.